Previously on our £5,000 Nürburgring adventure, Taylor, Freddy, Mark and I left the unit where the plan was to head to Dover for a ferry to France. But as is always the way on a road trip with us, one of the cars decided it didn't want to leave the country. So we were forced to abandon it, leaving Jaguar specialist Tom Lenthal to, in his own words, get it fixed and find out how the f*** he was going to get it to the ring the very next day. Welcome back, my name's Tavorish, and today we're going to be liking and subscribing to this video. Have I ever said anything like that? Is that more energy? <laughs> How's it going, guys? My name is Tavorish, and today we are at the Nürburgring with my friends, and we are about to take this big, car. Big, and, big, Pete. And, and, big Pete. Big Pete. Big Pete. Big Pete. Big Pete, and we're going to take this on a track and hopefully not die. Because yeah. all of our cars are Yeah. Up. They're all a bit broken at the moment. We're waiting for Tom Lenthal to arrive in a car that... They haven't seen yet. Can I reveal? No. Oh, no, no, no. Roll no. the intro. <laughs> no, you can't do that. Roll the, roll the, the can you roll the intro, Rory. Roll, but first, big thank you to the sponsor of today's video. Misha. <laughs> because if this crashes and oil is everywhere, then, then it causes a crash. Then Misha has kindly agreed to donate. The, thank you, thank you, Misha. But what we're going to do is we're going to load up into Big Pete and we're gonna go around the Nürburgring. So yeah, you heard that right. Before testing our actual Nürburgring cars, I thought Big Pete needed his very own moment on track, which, as you're about to see, would cause a few squeaky bum moments. Can I just can I just point out? I'm just looking around <laughs> this scene. We are we are seven men up uh -huh. in Big P. Yeah. This, this is the first is... time you've been seven men up. <laughs> Misha, is this the most amount of people you've ever taken around that oh, one time? Actually, it is. Oi! Oh, 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 here we go! Come on, Misha! Come on, Misha! <laughs> Don't worry, only another 12 minutes of- oh! 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 <laughs> The traction control kicks in. <laughs> Misha, talk us through. How are we doing? Um, so far, I'm surprised we're alive. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna pop an end. Oh, Shut up, Rory. This was with the motorbike. Oh my god. Oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Get the motorbike. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. You know, it's like when you get very wasted in the club, you pick up a girl and the next morning you wake up and thinking, what have I done? That's how I'm feeling right now. Oh my God. Oh. Let's not crush the M3 next to us. Oh. Oh. Hey, that is nice. Right, Mickey, you need to get those motorbikes. They mucked you off. He was laughing at you, Mickey. He was, he was. He was? Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Oh. Go get the motorbike! Go, 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 go! go. There are almost no brakes, just so you know. Oh, okay. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's that nice. Is nice. That is nice. How's your first experience of the Nürburgring going, guys? Yeah, yeah it's, yes. is that right? Is that oh. right? Is that... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. There's, right. a, there's a GT3 RS. You're catching him. Oh, You're catching him. That was a vomit burn. That was a vomit oh, burn. Come on, oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Up the hill. Up the oh, hill. Oh, oh, come on, wait, wait. Yeah. 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 Take a car! Another one. We're gonna oh, take a car! Oh, yes! 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 Yes!
In we go! Us out. <laughs> there we go. That is a yeah, laugh of the Nobel. Yeah. 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 Me shut, me shut, me shut, me shut, me shut, me shut, me shut. Hoo hoo! That was sketchy. Unlike this week's video sponsor, Quadlock, who make the strongest, most secure, and easiest to use phone mounts on the market. What's more, Quadlock's new mag heads feature super fast mounting, wireless charging, and come in a variety of colors. And Quadlock mounts are perfect for any old car, including dodgy old Alphas to Audi R8s, which I fitted with a wireless charging head. Nice. Quadlock also offers mounts and vibration dampness for motorbikes, USB chargers, battery packs, and loads more useful accessories. So join millions of happy customers, me included, and upgrade your lives with Quadlock phone cases, mounts, and accessories well in time for Christmas. And speaking of Christmas, we were still waiting on a Jaguar-shaped Christmas miracle to arrive, following the XK8's premature departure last week. I'm sure you'll remember me telling Tom Lenthal the bad news and his reaction to it. I've got a recovery lorry coming down here to come and pick it up. We're going to get it into the workshop, we're going to fix it, I'm going to drive it to the f***ing No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, after a massive 10-hour stint behind the wheel, Tom finally arrived in the one car we'd all completely lost hope in. I only broke down once. Yeah. Oh, okay. So after you did the, check the um, plate off or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the tight. ECU's cooled down again. It's lovely. Is it really Good. heat soaking the ECU? Yeah, yeah. This is killing it. Yeah. Wow. That's what it was. That's crazy. Well, um, yeah. Airport's that way. Let's go to bed. Well, yeah. I, I think before, <laughs> before right. bedtime. Beer, beer, beer. I think you very oh, much yeah. deserve that. Yeah. 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 Well done. Well done, Tom. Yeah. Well done, well done, Tom. Yeah. Well done, you go, Tom. Freddy. Freddy, you have your car. You've got your V8. You've got your V8. <laughs> Don't break it. Do not mm. break it. I, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> How was the drive? Was it all right? Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, apart from the one stop. Yeah. Um, pre unplanned stop. Yeah. yeah. But, like, so stop. you took the Euro Tunnel at whatever time it was. Uh, what time did you get the car finished? We finished at about about half eleven, twelve. Yeah. And I left at one, and I was on the yeah, tunnel at four. Yeah. And then I've just driven. Okay. Have you yeah. not even stopped? I stopped for a piss, yeah. <laughs> you don't even look tired. <laughs> <laughs> you know that ain't true. <laughs> okay, so today is Thursday. It is our last day at the Nürburgring. Ring. We still haven't been on the ring with our cars because they are all quite broken. Uh, Audi needs some work. Taylor, your Z3 needs a little bit of tinkering and my Alpha needs a full restoration. Yes. So we are here at Ring Toys Garage. This is Rich, he is the owner. And you bought a belt for your supercharger yep. from Rich. Yep. And then I said, why don't we give him a call and ask if we could maybe just use the car park area to fit stuff and you know fix the cars. I phoned you up and then what did you say? Come round, use the workshop. Not only use a workshop, but use Frank the Tank, who's your mechanic. Correct. Yes, so um, we are here to take advantage of your generosity uh, and get started. So welding needs to be done on your exhaust. So we're going to yeah. do that first, then maybe get Alfred in and then that and then, yeah. But your car is good. My car is good. Why do you just abuse people like this? You know, you, you just uh, you just use, uh, use their shop, use their labor, parts. You make your own luck, Freddie, that's why. And I guarantee you'll leave it in a mess as well. It oh, absolutely. An absolute mess. Yeah. You get paid in clout, by the way. He didn't tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> First up, Frank fixed the hole in the Z3's exhaust. And after Taylor changed his supercharger belt again, it was Alfred's turn for a quick mechanical tart up. Alfred is now in spot. And we are, go I say we, Frank is going to hopefully bleed the brakes and sort out the braking system because it is shit at the moment. That is the biggest thing that lets this car down. And if he's got time, just give the engine a full restoration. With the brakes bled on Alfred, it was now time to swap it out for Mark's S8. I mean, how bad could it be? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Here's the class of the cars. Well done. 
Mark McCann. That is snap. Yeah. That is, is. That is like legitimately snap. Yeah. Get the welder out. Wow. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, 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 relax. It's not down to the cords. Oh, cords. Um, Sorry. Yeah, there's cords there. <gasps> oh, oh, that bit <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> the anti roll bar worries me more than the yeah. tires. Yeah, it's, it's not. The this steering's not good. Mark. Really? Yeah. Stop looking. <gasps> is this wheel welded as well? Oh, no, no, it's just shit on there. Oh, oh It's the top God. order. On the top arm? Yeah, yeah. I can see now why the rear end feels a bit floaty. <gasps> that's nice. Mm. OK, so Frank will weld that as well. <laughs> I'm not sure that's supposed to do that. It's got rear wheel steering. <laughs> I, yes. Do you know what yes. I said That's to what him? Is this got rear wheel steering? I said to him, we were coming off the motorway. I went, has this got rear wheel steering? <laughs> <laughs> this has got rear wheel steering. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is an issue, I know that. Ah, yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, Frank has just condemned your S8. Yes. Not good, is it? Um, no, I've come a long way. <laughs> you have come a long way. Um, however, Mark, we do have an alternative. Should we... Uh, another V10? Another V10. Should we just jump straight in? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. And that V10 was the legendary BMW E60 M5. Courtesy of our friend Stretton from M539 Restorations, who insisted on taking Mark out for a lap in honour of the stricken Audi. But with the convoy now en route, things were looking very bad for Taylor, as yet another supercharger belt shredded itself after only a few minutes. So we made it to Apex, but Taylor's been having massive, massive troubles with the belt that he just put on at Ring Toys. Came here completely shredded, so he's literally just popped on another belt. But if that shreds again, then there is no way that that car is getting home, let alone driving on the Nürburgring now. So. Tried another bell, let's see what happens. But very, very touch and go at the minute. Taylor's luck in the ring. Not very good. With the belt changed, again, and Taylor's hopes of making a complete lap at rock bottom, there was only one thing left to do. Get on track and send it. Here we go. Are you ready, Tom? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we're on the Nürburgring in Alfred. Woo! First lap in the Jag ever. So this is our V10. We've had a bit of a swap out because mine's broke. So this is Stratton. He's my driver. I can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> We're on the ring, Tom. We're on the ring. Go, go, go. Go on, Glenn. There is a lot of smoke There is a lot of there. smoke coming out of that Jag. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, what the Just some screws in the boat, Smart. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the lane on the on the alpha. Oh, <laughs> this so has no power in like the low range, no, does it? Oh, where did this <laughs> corner go? Oh shit! Oh, Come on, Alfred, turn in! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Yes! So how's the power for you? It's actually good, I'm surprised. It sounds pretty good. Yeah. Holy! The brakes are a little bit spongy. Oh! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Look, you're catching him. Oh, Taylor is right up my chuff. Oh, there is a strange smell coming from this. Yeah? Come on, Glenn! Come on! Slap the dust off! Oh! <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Yeah? Yeah! I'm glad you f***ing up the man. I don't. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Well, lots of downforces through here. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't see it, but my foot is welded to the firewall right now just to keep me in line. Oh, uh, if this car makes a lap of the ring, all right, then I am taking Alfred Woo! to Bruno from BDS Motorsport for an engine rebuild. I promise. <laughs> Come on, Glenn! We're overtaking everyone, Tom! There's no... Ain't no stopping us now! Woo! Go on, me child! Oh, they're flat! Oh, yes! Come on! Oh, God. 
are you yeah. enjoying Germany? So you know what? It's fine. It's yeah. good. I'm having a good time. This is this is a it's an unusual day, you know? Yes. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. That times. Oh, that was car. a squeaky. That was a squeaky bum oh, moment. I got cramped. Me, this car's good. Wow! Bruno, you Where else can you have this much fun for 650 sheets? <laughs> you can't! Dude, this is, this is insane. Like, everything is... Holy... We need to, like, judge the, this car for what it was made. And it's a road cruiser. And that was, it was built, not a track car. And for a road cruiser, it's soft. It has plenty of torque. It has lots of comfort. Oh, so it's fantastic. <laughs> so it's very good. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Come on. <laughs> Oh, my spine. <laughs> Good idea, Rory. Good idea. Is this a carousel? Yep. Ready? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> oh, flipping brilliant. We got the carousel. Ready? Come on in. Dip in. Oh, oh my God. Yes! Oh. Yes! <laughs> Yes! Oh, yes! Me chava! Call me chava! Oh, carousel! Carousel? Oh, God. Okay, we'll have to go a little bit gently. We'll go quite gently. Oh, my God! That is not gentle. Oh, shit, is, is this gentle? gentle? Oh, that was not gentle. We're at the highest point of the track. We're second highest point. So uh -huh. from here, it's all going downhill, so the engine should have significantly less issues to work for us uh -huh. um, so that's good no in, in short like I said it has plenty of torque plenty of power the controls are actually also quite good except especially when you take into consideration that the rear axle is living its own life uh -huh. uh, power I said torque I said gearbox is slow and slushy so it's like old slush box it does like kind of well for road cruising it's of course great but for the track purpose absolutely not uh-huh because it takes you forever to uh, go on the gas and then something might happen tomorrow but uh, you, yesterday you passed the corner already so it's like yeah kind three of, years you have the next year yeah, yeah. exactly exactly but uh, overall very comfortable oh i think we killed the engine oh i think the engine's dead it yep. says low low oil pressure that's that's rod knock we just killed the engine yeah so. Oh, yeah, oil pressure's, oil pressure's zero. I think we, yep. No, just. We're, go, we're going to get off the track, don't worry. Just, yeah, get off the track. She's, she's a little. <laughs> we're about to, we're about to blow something. Don't what? worry. It's Putting good. neutral, so we can roll from here. Oh, the engine stalled. Yeah. So we were, okay. We just blew the engine and the Jag. Oh, the Jag! Oh. Oh, oh no, no, the, the jack. jack! Oh no, the jack! Oh, oh no! no! Oh my god! No! What's happened? Engine died, low power engine died, we blew it up. Oh shit! Oh shit! Tom, you cuss! <laughs> so, the good thing is, it happened to me before, I killed the Volvo also on the same spot. <laughs> Since we, if we will be able to push it out the barrier to here, uh -huh. we don't need to pay for the recovery cost. It's right there. <laughs> yes. right so they're gonna hopefully Marshall's gonna be as uh, well as uh, helpful as they are last time. So we need to get the crew on the other side so everyone can help us to push it out. And most importantly, as long as we didn't spill any oil, but no, no, there's anything, no, there's no oil. They just said no oil pressure, so it was like, so um, <laughs> I it might be heat seized because it started sounding really bad, and uh, then and then yeah. you said it. Uh, <laughs> I think that this should be Alfred's only lap. Yeah? Genuinely, yeah. I think I've done some damage. Well, I mean, it's going to be the Jaguar's only lap. <sighs> oh, there's a Corvette up my ass. Go on, Mr. Corvette, you can go round. Go on, fella. Go on, I'll have a bit. Hey, oh, get out the curb, you Hey, oh, hey, oh. Yeah! We did a lap, Tom! We did a lap! Yes! You are still going. Yes, because it is the end oh. of the lap! We did it, Ryan! Right. Oh, we did it! Alfred! I'm gonna just, it's fifth gear, just. Ooh. Let it cool down, let it cool down. Oh, they got so close to the end! They did. Alright. That was awesome, huh? We were winners. That was really good.
We got a lamb, Alfred! Oh, I love you! Mwah. 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 I've done zero bushes on this car. Really? Zero. You've done well then, didn't you, the little thing? Well done, well done. Well Glenn. done, Glenn. I knew you could do it. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, buddy. No. That's, uh, I think, so that's cool, Ant. So I wouldn't stand there. Just, just be careful. So, cool, Ant. Look at that. And... Oh, you know what this is? Yeah, coolant, coolant's about to... It got a bit hot. It did get a little hot, but the... But the the gauge was okay. Yeah. The aircon kept on working. Yeah. It was literally like the last moment just said like low pressure and done. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. That's hot. Man. You know, it... Well, the good thing is we're, we're right on the grate. So it's going straight to the drain. So hopefully you didn't want to charge this one. What's that guy with a side card? This... <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so who, everyone's watching. If you're going to lock the Nürburgring, if you have a technical issue, go behind one of the orange barriers. Orange barrier means there is a safety opening, safety pocket where we are right now. Call them Nürburgring emergency number that you can see here on your screen right now to tell them like, hey, I'm at the Marshall Post here or here on this particular track section. So they can send someone over or uh, wave a yellow flag. So you can see all the traffic now is actually coming with their hazard lights on. So they put up a yellow flag to indicate like, hey, there might be something wrong in that particular section. Um, so yeah, that will save you lots of headache and potentially other others as well. So yeah, now we just wait for the cavalry. So, so uh, you, you, we're supposed to be by the ticket office together. We decided to call it early. Look at the view. Oh, so so I was I was let down by British engineering once again. With the poor old Jaguar pushed to safety, we reconvene to discuss a day with more highs, lows, laughs and squeaky bum moments than any of us ever thought possible. Okay, so we are now pretty much at the end of this amazing, uh, challenging Nürburgring series featuring our £5,000 cars. We came, we saw, some of us conquered, some not so much. So let's start on the right hand side. Your car, Mark, shit. So it didn't even get on the Nürburgring. No. Well done, you completely screwed it up. Thank you. <laughs> Mister, my my car in. did get on the Nürburgring, uh, but it made it about three quarters of a lap and then the engine blew up. Yes. But, but this has been sitting for the night, okay? It's had time to think about what it's done. Okay. So let's- Let's, let's give it a go. Let's, let's give, give it a go. go. Oh, okay. If this starts, this is driving home and we've not tried this yet. Okay. It's not gonna start. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, and no. no. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 just need some little encouragement. Come on, round of applause. Come on. No, no, no. Okay, okay. okay. so no. this car is staying here. No. We're going to push it in a corner. Uh, we will be back to collect this yeah. piece of shit. Uh, meanwhile, Alfred, uh, against all odds, actually made it to the Nürburgring. Did a lap of the Nürburgring. Only just. Yes. It is smelling of oil a lot. Yes. Yeah. And I think Rory will agree that it was really quite scary being in this. It's shit. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> anyway, uh, Taylor, your car, I, in principle, should have been good. However... I am the only one out of all of us that actually had really good fun. You did. Yeah. I genuinely did. Stressful, but fun. Me and Tom had oh. probably one of the funniest laps It was this. a good lap, it? Wasn't was it was brilliant fun. It was very good on the track, very capable, not quite as comfortable on the road, and no. it did shred a belt, but... Or two. Or two. Or two, yeah. but it was very good. Indeed. So, also unreliable, quite sketchy. We don't know if you're going to make it home. So, I guess out of all of these four cars from the Nürburgring series, the only one car that we can actually rely on to get to the Nürburgring, do a lap, and take us home, is Big Pete. Yeah. What? Well Yay! done, Big Pete. Yay! What? Big Pete <laughs> is the superstar here. Seven man up on the Nürburgring with Misha driving. No issues whatsoever. None of the other cars would have been able to do that. Exactly. Also, also, because this is a V6 and I have a V6 by proxy, I win no, the Nürburgring no, 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 no. Out of the vote between our cars, what do we think is the best? It's got, it's got to be the Alpha. It was the underdog, it, stinks, it made it. It leaks, it's slow, so it's wobbly. 
time. Four I times. I ready to bell. It took me 10 I minutes to times. fix it. On, I honestly think it was a Jag. I, because, listen, that was probably the first Jag XK8 on the Nürburgring. It and did, the loss. It did better than anybody could have imagined, okay? It had new tires, new brakes, new suspension. It Misha really liked it, okay? Yeah. It had a little bit of an oopsie, but like that's... You said the back was wobbly. I, you know what? It, there's growing pains, okay? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Our comfort. Who among us does not have let's, a little a back that's a little wobbly? Let's just be realistic. It is the Z3. No, it's not. No. What we're going to do is we're going to let you guys decide, but for now, we're going to leave it there and also say a massive, massive thank you and fair play to Tom Lenthal for well done, taking Tom. it back, for fixing it, Roger. not the engine, and driving it all the way to the <laughs> Nürburgring. I'm sure you're a little bit disappointed you didn't make it, but proud that you got it here. But I really need to get home now. <laughs> Why oh, do you okay. need shit? Yeah, I've got to go. <laughs> okay. What now? There's a portaloo over right. there. And on that note, we're going to call it. Thank you very much for watching this series. Thank you to all of these guys, to Tom, Mark, Taylor, and Tavares Freddy. We'll see you next time for some more stupid Nürburgring action, I am sure. Yeah. Ta-da! Ta-da! So there you have it. The conclusion of our epic £5,000 Nürburgring challenge. Four cars were bought, four cars were modified, and four cars eventually made it to the world's most demanding racetrack, the Nürburgring. It's said that one lap of the ring is equivalent to 7,000 road miles. Such is the stress it puts on tyres, brakes, suspension, gearboxes, and, in the case of the Jaguar, engines. The XK8 made three quarters of a lap before expiring. And while this was unfortunate and pretty sketchy at the time, you've got to admit it was also pretty funny. The one car we assumed was a safe bet caused nothing but drama, making our trip so much more memorable, as well as ensuring we had to come back to the Nürburgring again soon to recover the thing. I for one have loved getting to know the cars, have relished spending time with my friends Freddy, Taylor, Misha, Mark, Tom, and Rory, and despite the headache of having to dump the Jaguar, have enjoyed every second at the Nürburgring. It's a place I'd urge everyone to visit, so long as you don't attempt to lap in a ropey old Jag. <laughs>